On top of a sun-beaten hill in El Dorado County's gold country lies a single grave. According to the Verkamp's legend, this was Okesan's favorite place. The marble headstone sits just two miles from the infamous gold discovery site in Coloma. English in the front, and you'll see in the back are Japanese words. The person that lies here was not a gold miner, a military member, or an entrepreneur, but rather a refugee, the first of her culture to travel here. Oke-san was the first Japanese uh, woman, pioneer, buried on American soil. Arriving on June 8, 1869, Oke-san was one of just 22 people who worked at the Wakamatsu Silk and Tea Farm, California's first all-Japanese colony. It's important because uh, it marks the pioneer story of Japanese Americans the story of the Wakamatsu colonists starts at the end of Japan's Bashan Civil War. Historian Herb Tanamato says to escape danger, Persian arms dealer John Henry Schnell fled to California. With him, he took his family, his nanny, Okesan, and several samurais from Aizu Wakamatsu to act as laborers on a farm he wanted to start. Because they were refugees, um, they wanted to get a new start. And for John Henry Schnell, it was a business venture. After acquiring land outside the boom town of Coloma, Schnell and the samurais brought several thousand seeds for tea leaves and mulberry trees, which were used to feed silkworms. They had great hopes, I think, for, um, but then it was a drought year. The farming didn't go well. Schnell eventually sold the land to his neighbors, the Vierkamp family, and went back to Japan, leaving behind the colonists. Pretty much just one by one left this area. Just two colony workers ended up staying to work on the beer camp's newly acquired land, samurai leader Matsunok Sakirai and 19-year-old Okesan. She probably got uh, a disease like malaria. Okesan was single when she died in 1871, but her friend Matsunok Sakirai made sure that she was remembered. So he saved up his funding for 15 years uh, to buy her a permanent uh, marble marker. Had it not been for the marble marker, proof of her existence may have been lost forever. Sometime around the 1920s, journalists and historical investigators came looking for evidence of the Wakamatsu colony, and the Beer Camp's younger son showed them Okesan's grave and told the colony's story. People from Japanese Americans here uh, who look upon her as uh, the pioneer who started Japanese immigration. Over the years, Okesan and the colonist's story have sparked numerous pilgrimages. On the 150th anniversary of the colony, a special ceremony was held with Japanese dignitaries. Each of us have to realize that we are all immigrants in this country. Today, the Wakamatsu Farm is managed by the American River Conservancy, with the goal of keeping this place open to the public for everyone to experience. And I think that's part of why People come here to reaffirm the immigration story of their own uh, lives. From the Wakamatsu Farm in El Dorado County, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.